Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please make sure that you are first what? A subscriber. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment below because I love watching you guys' comments. And also guys, you know I have to let you guys know what is going on. I do have a link in the description bar. I'm pretty sure that it says the chatter box above it. But either way, if you click the link that says join, that is where you can be a part of my Chatterbox, which is a um, paid membership with exclusive live streams and exclusive videos that do not make it to the gym pop. Um, you do have to pay $4.99 a month and um, to join and you do have to be at least 18 years or older. Um, in that uh, is where I do um, also uh, family vlogging as well as my reborns and um silicone babies and all that great stuff um i have a little bit more freedom in there just because it's no like people that's not doll doll people watching for the most part at least that's what i think but it does you know people that oppose to our dolls i should say nobody's gonna pay it. well never mind anyway to the video uh today I am first going to show you, I do have baby Puck Santana and my Selena Poo, which is my full body boy sleeper and my full body girl sleeper. And um, I'm trying to think, are they the only sleepers? Yes, they are the only sleepers that I have. So baby Selena, baby Selena was painted by Paula Briggs, which is Boohoo Nursery. And then um, Puck Santana was painted by... Um, Claire Teller, of course, and I shouldn't say of course, but then I can say of course because most of my babies are. Selena is the first one in a very long time that have not been painted by uh, Claire Teller. Um, but today, I just want to kind of touch on a few things. You know, it's always something. It's always something going on. There's always something that is going to make you feel some type of way, and um, I think in life you just it just you just have to do the best that you can um <laughs> i am a doll addict i am a collector that i am an, a woman which women alone are impulsive and i constantly like change and i like new things and um i also am not a rich collector i cannot afford to have like thousands of babies, silicone babies. I can paint a lot of reborns for myself. So that kind of helps me with that addiction on that side. But the silicone babies are quite expensive now. And so I always feel like every time I buy a baby, I have to sell a baby. And then, you know, I like to have doll money sitting um, as well. Um, just because if I want something, I see something I want, I can get it. Um, right now I currently don't have a drinking wet baby in my collection and I've missed that. Yes, I know. It's not that big of a deal, but um, I do miss that. But anyway, I recently put Puck up for sale because I just, you know, I bought Selena and I um, bought Taylor you know and <clears throat> so I just bought two babies back to back I did sell Bella so Bella kind of you know took care of uh of part of that you know feeling like I need to sell something or whatever but I was like you know I know Puck is my best painted baby but it was like okay well I you know I can let him go but then I was like no I can't let him go and then it's like, I, I can't let him go. And then I can't let him go. I just back and forth, back and forth. And then, you know, it's always going to be a new baby out there that you want. It's always going to be something that, you know, keep you going. And I admire the collect collectors that don't feel like they have to keep buying and selling. And the ones that can just buy, buy, buy and hold on to all their dolls. I have two people that I know in this community. Two people. And... I know it's many more, but there's two people that I follow closely and that follow me as well that I see that keep their babies like and do not sell their babies like that. If they do, I don't see them selling them like that. So um, I don't want to misspeak, but I know 
Um, Patricia Reborn Babies is one of them. She has babies from way back. She just did a, a video way back when um, talking about the... Uh, she had uh, the Rita, Rita Arno baby, or yeah, the Rita Rich or Rita Arno, I forget, and Melissa McCrory baby, and then um, that's from way back when she still have them, and then um, T Chamber, she hold on to her babies, she don't really sell her babies, and I'm like, gosh, I want to be like that, but I can't, guys, I'm always selling my babies, because it's always something, and right now, guys, you know, I'm working on a lot of stuff with my house. Um, I wasn't having to do a lot of that stuff in the beginning, but when it comes to the inside and the decorating and stuff like that, that is all on me. And, um, plus, you know, you don't ever want to just have your man do everything. You want to be a contributing factor anyway, but that's just, you know, sidebar conversation. I won't get into that on this side, but, um, yeah, guys. So anyway, I just wanted you guys to see the two sleepers and I wanted to tell you guys I know it's always something I'm always selling a baby um right now I'm not in a rush to sell puck um I'm very particular I'm not gonna just throw him out there um and um but yeah I may not sell him I may sell him I I won't say because I don't want to say oh I'm not gonna sell him and then boom he's gone um but I don't know how much you guys can see but anyway but she's really cute and um like I was telling the people in the chatter box um this little outfit this little onesie was a gift for another baby that I had a long time ago a little preemie um baby that I had um and but he left and I kept this the the uh onesie um and I got that from uh another collector Mario at a doll show. I met her at a doll show when I was in Utah. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know. Don't worry about it. If you're like me and you're always selling your babies or you, you know, not. Like, Puck, I've, I've had him October this year. will make him be in, in my collection for two years. Um, he still looks, like, brand new. Um, he's amazing. His Everything is intact. His mat is intact. He has all his hair. He's just, you know, he's he's perfect. But I don't I don't handle my babies a lot. Um, as probably not as much as people think I do. But I, yeah, um, because I've gotten a lot of babies after him, he's just been more so of a display baby because he's absolutely beautiful, and that's why he is the hardest to let go. In my collection because I'll be honest with you like I said before he is like my most perfect painted baby um but you know it is what it is it is what it is so I'm hoping I'll be able to keep him oh and Selena is so sweet guys listen I cannot stop picking this little girl up she is so cuddly and so sweet so I've been um just just loving on her um I'm just really, really enjoying it. And it, I don't know if it has to do with that she's new, but I know her silicone feels amazing. Um, that's another thing, guys. Um, don't uh, don't quit, be so quick to think that just because a baby is not as expensive as another baby that you won't enjoy it as much. I definitely learned that with this baby. I can't. I fully, I fully, fully enjoy her as much as I do my um higher price babies um so don't don't ever feel like that you can't um and now i see you know how you know other people can just really get into babies that you know may not be have all the bells and the whistles and you know may not be the what you know a lot of collectors would say top 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 of the line I think she um, she's well done. I think her artist really took her time with painting her. Her veining is beautiful. I love her little feet and stuff like that. Her hair is amazing. Her hair is rooted like no other. Um, so, I mean, even in inside her mouth and, you know, in the back of her mouth and her gums and inside, the artist painted all in there very detailed. And it's been a long time and maybe a lot of other silicone artists does this now. 
But back when I, before I started just collecting babies that was painted by Claritella, there wasn't many artists that I've seen that, you know, even, you know, paint really in the mouth like that and stuff like that. So when I say that, please forgive me if it sounds like I'm making a big deal of the painting in the mouth. But even some of the babies that I've seen, like at, you know, shows and meetups and stuff, the silicone babies, they just seem like they're just blushed and... You know, that's it. You know, a little blushing on the knees, a little blushing on the elbows, blushing in the cheeks, you know, and that's it. But she's not like that. She's she really have detail. So I just I I just, you know, just harping on the artist's work. But like I said, again, um, her artist did charge a little bit more than what some of the other silicone painters um, actually she charged a lot more than some of the silicone painters out there. But I guess, you know, when you you know your worth and you know what you're you're putting into your babies and you know I guess you can you know put that price and I would pay it again I I will honestly say I would pay it again you know um for one of her babies she was sent nicely she her customer service was amazing I can go on and on and I've already did a video doing that so I won't bore you with that again that same conversation but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know just pop in I know I, I don't I haven't did much videos um lately because i'm very busy um so every now and then you guys will get a peek in the chatter box you know just every blue moon but our exclusive videos and exclusive live streams is strictly for them just because they are you know they are paying for that and um i appreciate the gym pop very very much but i also have to give them special treatment because of that um, so don't ever feel like I don't appreciate you guys as well, or I'm going to start like treating you guys like stepkids. And that's why, um, I am doing, you know, a reborn giveaway baby here. I'm just, sometime this week, I'll get that up for you guys. Um, and what you need to do and what, what it's going to be about and how it's going to go. It's going to be a fun giveaway. So, um, I've done one like this before. So just, you know. Stay tuned. I will get a separate video that tells you exactly what to do, what I'm doing, what I'm giving away, that type thing um, on that. I just want to throw it out there. It seems like there's some interest, so that's good. And um, But it will be um, an ethnic or I should say an AA or biracial baby. I'm just trying to decide if it will be one that I've, I, I'm finishing up now or will I paint a whole separate baby just for this giveaway. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Love it.